Hello everyone. I'm going to show you today how to take all of the points that you've been earning from your reading this summer and turn them into raffle tickets for the final raffle of the summer reading program. This process will be the same whether you're enrolled in the Bowling Green Summer Reading Program or the Walbridge Summer Reading Program. The raffle will go live on Monday, July 29th and will remain live for two weeks until Monday, August 12th. The first thing you're going to do is go to wcdpl.readsquared.com and log in with your username and password. If you don't remember your username or password, you can either email woodkids at wcdpl.org for help, or you can visit your library branch and ask one of the staff to assist you in resetting your password. You will need to do all of this raffle work from your Read Squared account. It can't really be done on paper. It's only through Read Squared. So once you are logged in to your dashboard here, you're going to click the button that says raffle and it will bring up this information down here. Now, at first, when you log on, it's going to say that you have zero raffle tickets. That's because you haven't taken any of your points and turned them yet into tickets. You should be able to see over here, Read Squared hasn't quite caught up with me yet, but you should be able to see over here how many points you've earned in total. Every 100 points is worth one ticket. So if you have completed the summer reading program and you have finished level five, you should have 1,440 points, which means that you would have 14 tickets to spend in the raffle. Down here, is where you're gonna get all the information that you need. So the first thing you're going to do is click see the prizes. This is gonna bring up a list with pictures and descriptions of all of the possible prize bundles that you can put your ticket in for. Now the photo that you see, if you're at Bowling Green, the photo you see is gonna be the center, a central item in your raffle and that's what you're going to put in for. Your actual raffle bundle, if you win, may include a few other items that aren't included in that photo, but you are submitting for this central item. So you can see here all of the options that are available. The pictures you're seeing right now may or may not be part of your raffle. This is just the test to show you how this works. Um, but you will see everything that's available to you here on this list. You'll also have a chance to see how many tickets have already been submitted for this prize. So you can see what's the most popular and what's maybe not as popular. The less popular the prize is, the fewer tickets that are submitted for it, the higher chance you have of winning if you put your ticket in for that bundle. So now that I know what prizes are available to me, I'm going to click this button that says Get Tickets. This again shows me all of my available bundles and it tells me how many points I have available to spend on raffle tickets. So let's say that I really want the octopus stuffed animal. I'm going to choose how many tickets to submit. I could put all of my tickets in for one prize, or I could spread my tickets out across several prizes. That's up to you. I'm gonna put five tickets in. Say continue. And now it says that I have five raffle tickets. So this number is telling me how many I've already submitted to the raffle. If I click my raffle tickets, it will show me how many tickets I have and for which prizes. So if I go back to get tickets, now I can put more tickets in for other prizes. So maybe I want this book bundle. I'm gonna put five tickets in for the book bundle as well. And you'll see that when you click get tickets, it's gonna to continue to tell you how many points you have available. So right now I've got 440, which means that I have four tickets left to submit. Let's say I want the Duplos. I'm gonna put the rest of my tickets in for that, continue. So now if I go to get tickets, I don't have enough points. I still have 40 points, but that's not enough for a ticket. And if I try to click on a prize, it's gonna tell me that I don't have enough points to purchase it, but I can get more points and so can you. So the raffle goes live on the 29th, but you can continue to read and log points throughout the summer reading program until it ends at midnight on Monday, August 12th. That's Monday into Tuesday. So I could go here and log. Let's say I did another hour of reading. 
60 more minutes, submit that, and now my total would be 1,500 points, which means if I go to get tickets, I have 100 points available to spend on raffle tickets. And I can go back and put tickets in for things that I've already put a ticket in for. Continue, and so on and so forth. And now if I look at my raffle tickets, it will show me everything that I have a ticket for listed right here so I can see and see what my chances are. If you have any trouble with this process or you have any questions that arise, please don't hesitate to reach out to your library staff and ask for help. We're happy to assist you. And we want to make sure that everybody gets their raffle tickets submitted before the end of the day on Monday, August 12th. At midnight going into Tuesday, the program will shut down. You will not be able to submit any more points. You will not be able to submit more raffle tickets. And there's really nothing that we as staff are able to do about that. So you have two weeks to submit everything that you need for the raffle. Please let us know if you have any questions. And until then, good luck.